Predators hosting the Stars, and the Stars are minus 138 on the money line. The Preds are plus 115 over under six and a half goals. The Stars laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 172, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Predators getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 210, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one goal, you win. It is supposed to be Ottinger and Soros, but neither goaltender has been confirmed for tomorrow's game. They've played each other three times this year, and the road team has won every one of those games. Stars won 3-2 in Nashville, Predators won 4-3 in Dallas, and then 6-3 in Dallas. Head-to-head, the Stars are 6-4. The Predators are on a two-game winning streak. Like I said, the road team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. The underdog has won the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is 7-3 on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 8-2. There have been six one-goal games in their last 10, two out of the three that they played against each other this year. The over is hit in their last two. The under is 5-3-2, three, and two, and the under at 6.5 goals is 7-3, and three, and two out of the three games that they played against each other this year went over. Now, for the Stars, they are 3-1 uh, and one in their last four. They are actually 6-1 and one in their last seven. There was a total of three goals, nine goals, five goals, and six goals. Two goals and a win, four goals and a loss, three goals and a win, and then four goals and a win. Two out, Three out of their last four or one goal games, and then they were on a run of just playing really close games. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row that were one goal games for the Stars. For the Predators, they are not playing very well. They are one and four in their last five. Seven goals, six goals, nine goals, six goals. Three goals and an overtime loss. Two goals and a loss. Five goals and an overtime win. And then two goals and a loss. Now, this is based off of how they've been playing each other. I'm going to take the stars with the money line. I will take the Predators getting the goals and I'm going to go over. Sometimes just teams play each other really well. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.